Hi, so just doing an update on my Shea Loss Weight Loss Challenge. Um, doing really well. Um, as I said before in one of my previous vlogs, I'm not going by weight because I'm putting on muscle mass as well. So I'm going on how my clothes fit. I'm wearing a t-shirt today that I purchased a few months ago and it's a lot looser. So I'm very, very happy. Um, and I've noticed my stamina is better. Um, I did a personal best on uh, the treadmill a couple of days ago. So I'm definitely noticing improvements. Um, furthermore to our health kick in terms of eating and sort of consuming fruits and vegetables. Today we bought a blender. Um, we've been looking for ages to try and find a blender. Everyone was saying go to Tesco's, places like that. We had a gift card left over from uh, from when we got married. One of my grandparents, they got us a gift card and we couldn't think of what to spend it on. So we went into uh, the store today and we found this Breville blender. Don't just blend it, Breville it. So, we've got all these fancy attachments, we're going to try making soups and that as well um, over the next few weeks, but today I'm making a smoothie, so I've got my got my fruits together, I went online, found a recipe, it's kind of like a pina, pina colada kind of um, recipe, but unfortunately I didn't have any coconut milk, because they only sell it in jars in our supermarket, and it said I only needed two teaspoons of it for a smoothie, and I'm not going to get through a jar of coconut myself um, and I, I think he said something like two days you had to consume it so I've gone for I'm gonna add a bit of honey instead just for a little bit of sweetness so what I've got I've got these really cool snack packs that they sell in Tesco's our local supermarket um, which they're good if you're on a budget if you're just buying I just wanted to test out how good this smoothie would be so rather than buy loads of fruit and vegetables and things like that just bought a couple of snack packs, I bought um, an apple which I think it counts to just one apple um, which was quite cheap, it's like 40, 40 odd pence and I bought these really cool pineapple slithers because again I didn't want to buy a whole pineapple and then have to either waste it or try and eat it all um, I've got one lemon, one orange um, I've got a banana which is a good way, smoothies are a good way to use up bananas which are beyond sort of consuming, they're a little bit bruised, a little bit ripe. So I've got banana, orange, pineapple and apple. A little bit of honey. I've gone for some skimmed milk because we changed to skim, skim milk last year because it's better for you. Um, this is a pure version because it stays fresher for longer because uh, I'm the only one who really drinks any milk in the house so um, it just stays, stays a, that little bit longer. So I'm going to see how this goes. I've not used this before. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my smoothie cup, put in my orange, I'm going to put in my apple, and I'm going to have to blitz that before I do anything else. So I'm going to have to, because we're in a quite a small space, take it over here where we've got our fancy new Revel blender. I'm not sure how much message it's going to make. So, turns out this little dude is good when you're actually finishing the smoothie, which we'll probably use it in a second to finish the smoothie. But right now, we need some extra assistance. So, I've got the other attachment, and hopefully, this is going to work. I've just transferred everything from the other cup into here. like it's doing a much better job. So what I'm going to do now is, it's looking really good, I'm going to add the banana. So like I said, this is a really, really good way to use bananas, which perhaps they're just a little bit too ripe to eat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the banana in. And this is a really good way to get in your uh, five a day. Some people say it's so hard to get your five a day. Now, I've already got my pineapple. I think that sometimes they say on the packets um, how many of your five a day. This counts are uh, one portion. So I've already got one portion there. I've got another portion here. I've got another portion here and another portion with the apple. So what's that? 
all my fruits. So let's put the banana in and let's see how this goes. transfer all this into my other smoothie maker close just transfer over to here you see it's still quite mushy let's go all the main bits be careful of the blades when you're doing this So now I'm going to give a squeeze of the lemon just for a bit of extra zest. A good tip to squeeze the lemon, roll it on the top before you cut it in half, makes it easier to squeeze. So a bit of lemon juice in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I've got these cool little gizmos that my wife got me, which are basically your measurement spoons. I'm going to take one teaspoon and I think we just bought this from the store so that it's still on. I think I'm going to add, I'm going to say two, two teaspoons of honey. I love honey. I love honey on toast. So there we go. Two teaspoons of honey. It's looking like a really big smoothie. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to drink this whole smoothie. And I'm going to add some milk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some milk just to the bottom of this glass. This is the glass. I think about that much milk. I like the way my measurements are, are uh, 100% there, like I know what I'm doing. Okay, I've made a bit of a mess. Here we go. So back we go with our smoothie attachment. Let's see how much mess I can make with this. I think that's ready to serve. So we're going to get rid of this into the sink so it makes no mess over here. Make sure it's turned off. Here we go. This is a pina colada smoothie. It's delicious. A bit lumpy, but we can work on that. Cheers.